Thank you for joining back for Halloween Tournament Weekend Round Back 9. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, and uh, click the bell for getting notification in case you want to see more of this kind of content. Before we go into, good luck, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to hole number 10. We're going to go with our extra mile and the kingmaker. We're going to start with the red ring by the rough on the left side. Extra mile level 9 will going to be top of plus 0 yard mark. Extra mile level 8 will going to be plus 1. Extra mile level 6 and 7 will going to be plus 3. After finding landing position, we're going to go with 3.5 backspin and 3 left spin. I'm going to adjust your max plus 10 P3. After doing the adjustment, I'm going to go full overpower. And you see that I'm placing my uh, left side of the uh, elastic band on the top of that triangle. You need just a bit less for having a good chance of hitting a hole in one on this hole. You still need to hit perfect, but don't worry. Great left and great right were safe. This one just went on the left side. So just a bit less curl than, that, than what I used over there. We're going to work perfectly. Good luck. Welcome to hole number 11. Here we're going to go with our sniper and a katana. I'm going to find our landing position, which is a red ring by the rough and the white ring by the bunker. And then we're going to preset our spins, which are going to be about 1.5 left spin and 0.2 backspin. Make sure you have the ball guide just on the left side of the pin there. The tip of the ball guide is going to be there. And we will gonna adjust here one to one plus point one, which is actually mid plus fifteen p one if you want to use uh, elevation. But usually, it's wind plus point one. So five point four miles an hour wind. We're gonna adjust here five point five. Center the ball as best as you can. Try to not have any clicks of overpower, underpower, or right or left clicks. Hit perfect, and this will gonna go nicely into the hole for a hole in one. Good luck. Welcome to hole number 12. Here we're gonna have an extra mile. I'm gonna have the same landing spot as uh, opening and qualifying round. We're gonna go this time with 4.5 top spin and 3 right spin. And then we're gonna adjust max plus 10 P3. Except this time we will gonna go with um, outer wall right curl and also what we pulled into OP. So for example, I did have like a few clicks of OP there. So I'm going right a few clicks before circle drop. I'm gonna try to hit perfect. The drive distance we were looking for getting between 341 to 350 yards. This one gets to 347 yards, so it's in the middle over there. And for approach, we're gonna use our sniper. We're gonna preset two top, three left. I'm gonna place our ball guide going on the right side of the hole, but make sure that you're entering in the center of that dark green row. See the ball guide, it's not through the hole or anything. It's just barely through the hole, going on the right side. We're adjusting here minus 10 P3, using the table provided in the text notes. If you don't know where the text notes are, are on the description of, the, of this video and also on the video before for the front line. Center the ball, and now we're gonna have to go with just before circle drop overpower and try to hit perfect. This goes in nicely, perfect speed, goes into dark, that dark green row and then slopes back to the hole. Good luck. On hole 13, we're gonna use our extra mile level eight plus and a Kingmaker. We will gonna place our red ring by the rough uh, for extra mile level nine will be top of plus four yard mark. And for extra mile level eight, we're gonna be top of plus five yard mark. After finding the 
location, you can also add the spins. And then we will gonna adjust here max plus 10 P3. Going to pull over the bullseye. I'm gonna take a normal shot. Try to hit perfect. I think a slight great uh, right will gonna be safe and still be able to do the shot. A slight great left, you're gonna be uh, in between clubs between Thorn and Grizzly, and you're not gonna be able to do it. For the approach, we're gonna use our plus numbers for reference. Here we were at top of, well, we were at plus four yard mark, and we played 86% slider with 25% elevation. Add 3.5 to 3.8 backspin, depending on what you need. Here I was 3.7. I'm placing uh, the ball guide to favor on the left side of the pin there. Make sure that the ball guide goes into the hole, because otherwise you might actually come in short. We're going to adjust here 25% downhill P3. Trying to pull over the bullseye. I'm starting from blue ring. Yeah, I had to adjust 4.3 rings for 6.4 miles an hour. Center the ball, hit perfect. And this can drop for a nice eagle. Good luck. Welcome to hole number 14. You're gonna go with the sniper and the navigator. I'm gonna try to, as best as possible, to set the red ring by the rough fairway and the bunker rough lines at the same time. And then we're gonna go with one left spin and three, and top of the three have a small click over there. I'm using that intentionally because I was always coming to the right side, so I went with one click. In this wind angle, we went with one to one plus 0.2, so 6.5 miles an hour. We're going to go with 6.7 rings to adjust. I'm starting dividing the red ring um, and then going on until the end of the white ring. Try to pull as straight as possible. And centering the ball, hit perfect. This is a toughy one, and uh, dropping it, I would consider it as, uh, you know, not a, it's a must, not a must have, but it's a nice to have. Consider you getting a bonus if dropping this one for a hole in one. Welcome to hole number 15. You're gonna go with a quarterback and a kingmaker. We're gonna start with quarterback level 10 at top of plus zero yard mark. If you have a quarterback level nine, we're gonna be the same. Quarterback level eight starts at top of plus four. This is just a quarterback level nine, uh, level 10 uh, shot. So if you do have a quarterback level nine and eight, find the landing position and then swap to an APOC. It can be level three plus, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> you need a 4.5 top spin. And then we're adjusting here, max plus 10 P3. After doing the adjustment, we're gonna go with full overpower and one ball of curl to the right. You are aiming to get above 328 yards. That's uh, basically the plan here. In this uh, case scenario, we did had 331. The approach shot, it's uh, kind of tricky. We're gonna go with 2.5 topspin together with free right spin. And then we're gonna look at the ball guide mostly. We're not uh, having any rings uh, reference or any of any kind. We're trying to go with half a green square left side of the hole and the ball guide to be way through. So after finding your landing position, we will gonna adjust here minus five P3 using our drive distance table. This is a, a different replay here. I was uh, at 328 yards. I was at plus one in stronger wind. We're going to go further up on overpower. So if you have a lower level sniper, uh, you'll kind of go into overpower. That's why I said to 328 will going to be the maximum. Center the ball, hit perfect. And you have a chance of dropping this one for an albatross. Good luck.
Welcome to hole number 16. Here we're gonna go again with a no moving target using our extra mile level nine. We're gonna apply max top spin together with two left spin, and then we're gonna just max plus 10 P3. Sometimes that, uh, you know, light bulb or whatever it is, uh, it's in the way of our uh, pulling the rings. So in case that happens, you can always try to push them. After doing the adjustment, we're going to go with circle drop over power. Make sure you have your ball centered and try to hit perfect. Note down your drive distance because you're going to need it for the approach shot because that's how you're going to determine your slider. In this case, we got to 394 yards. And for the approach, we're going to use our thorn. We're going to place one right spin to not be in that glitchy area. Otherwise, we'd have gone with no side spin whatsoever. You see that line where my blue ring is? That's uh, where it glitches out and moves a lot more to the right side. After setting the spin, please place your ball guide centered off the pin. We're adjusting here 20% downhill P3 using our distance for a slider. For 394 yards, I was... 53%. I had 3.1 rings to pull. I'm pulling over the bullseye. Then we're going to center the ball and try to hit perfect. This goes in nicely for an eagle on hole number 16. On hole 17, we're gonna go with Sniper and starting with the basic ball because we don't want to add any side spin. I'm gonna place the ball guide at the hole having the red ring with the Sniper by the rough. Then we're gonna go with 0.8 backspin and after placing the spin, we can switch to a navigator. For seven miles an hour, we adjusted 7.9. The adjustment here is max plus 10 P3 using Sniper 10 numbers. I'm pulling uh, from my white ring. That was 7.9. Now I'm going to center the ball as best as we can and try to hit perfect. This one dropped with uh, different wind strengths and wind angles. So hope you're going to drop it as well. Good luck. Welcome to hole number 18. He's going to go with our extra mile and a kingmaker. I'm going to set up with half of the red ring into the rough on the right side at plus 13. If you're using an extra mile level 9, if you're using an extra mile level 8, you're going to be top of plus 14. I'm going to place our spins, which will going to be two right spin with six top spin. After doing that, we're going to just here max plus 10, P3. And after adjusting, we're going to go with full overpower. We're not really interesting to get too far. You can definitely go with 6.1 if you're having a very low wind <clears throat> or 6.2. It's uh, We still have a marge of error, but make sure that you're not hitting great right. Great right, we're going to end up in the rough on the right side. So regardless, uh, pack a Nirvana in order to save your butt in case you're going to be there. We're looking to get about 390 plus. For the approach, we're going to use our sniper and we're going to perform a top of white ring fringe check where fringe meets fairway and the ball guide is going through the hole. So I was at the double plus eight uh, yard mark over there. I'm going with 2.5 backspin and one left spin. And then I'm placing my ball guide one green square short and at the edge of the hole on the left side. Plus 8, we're going to be 1 to 1 minus 0 0.1. If you're plus 9 or plus 10, we're going to go with 1 to 1 for the adjustment. If you're plus 8 or plus 7, we're going to be minus 0 0.1. Check the table that it's provided in the notes. Try to pull over the bullseye over here. Center the ball. And hit perfect. So we're going to go in nicely for an albatross on hole number 18.
if you performed everything correctly, you should have this kind of uh, back nine. I wish you all good luck and see you guys on the next tournament. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button. All gonna help me a lot. Bye bye.